Hey guys, I've got some exciting news. This is my 100th episode. Oh, Jaro. It's so weird to think that this all started with my friend Dan wanting me to write some scripts for his new review show. That show got canceled, and then I played the last ninja. It really pissed me off, and I said, screw it, I'm gonna take a crack at this myself. And now here we are with a small but dedicated fan base and 100 episodes. Seriously, it's not. And to thank you, the fans to whom I owe so much, I'm gonna do something special. Wait, no. I'm gonna review Big Rigs. This is episode 99! What? This is episode 99! You combine the two Deathly Hollows videos into one! <sighs> well, no backing out now, is there? Alright, let's get real. I got this game for free thanks to a download and a free trial of RinRAR, but I think the only true way to review this game is to pretend that it was a $50 purchase, because this isn't some crappy Steam game, this was sold in stores as a full price finished game. So let's proceed under the construct that I went out, and for some god only knows reason, blew $50 on a game about truck racing. <laughs> First thing, I can't get the music to load. I can't get sound of any kind to play during the game. There's a sound person listed in the game's credits, so either it's a persistent bug, or that dude needs to be unemployed so hard. There's no story mode or campaign of any kind, just custom race and random race, and there's only four trucks. No stats, that's always nice when you have to try and figure out on your own what the differences are, and there's only five levels. The hell, does this game have any actual content to it? A time trial, five maps, and four characters? is all there is to the entire game? This is like the biggest ripoff ever for a retail game. I don't think there's ever been a racing game this barren. There's nothing here. Two of the levels are called Devil's Passage and Devil's Passage 2. Then there's a level called Forgotten Road 1 and No Forgotten Road 2. If forgetting to add a second Forgotten Road was supposed to be a meta joke, you failed miserably. Also, one of the trucks is named Megone. You do know what the space bar is, right? Biggest key on the keyboard, ring any bells? Screw it, let's just start a race. Now, how do I go forward? It's not last. does the space bar, sorry? Nope, space bar is reverse. You feel like moving there, buddy? I was under the impression that this was a racing game. You think you should, you know, I don't know, drive? Check it out, his rear lights are just randomly coming from inside the truck's load. Maybe he just needs a push. Or maybe I'll pass right through the truck like it's a figment of my imagination. What? How? Okay, I'm gonna try and be positive. Maybe you phase through enemies so you can't crash into and obstruct each other. It's warm in this truck. I like it in here. Move! Do something! Foot! Gas pedal! Push down! So yeah! The enemy racers don't have any AI. They do nothing in a race except sit at the starting line. They never move. How do you make a racing game where the entire point is to compete against an opponent and then forget to program an opponent? I'm not going to ask the stupid question of did you do playtest because <laughs> clearly not. But did you at least turn the game on before you released it? How do you not notice this? How does one forget to program the single most important thing in a racing game? People to race! And if you couldn't figure out how to program enemy AI, then why in God's name did you make a game that is 100% reliant on enemy AI for all of its content? This is amazing. A racing game where there's nothing to race. Freaking beautiful. Let's just start driving. The sand keeps popping over and off of the road like the game is struggling to render the stage or can't determine what's supposed to go on top of what. The controls are lousy, it takes forever to speed up and slow down and you turn super slowly but you're driving huge ass trucks, what did you expect? It's kind of distracting how nothing on the truck ever actually moves. The huge ass load on the back of your truck doesn't sway at all, the entire vehicle is just one static model with barely any shading. It looks cheap as hell. Can I knock down the light poles? You usually can in games like this. No, you pass right through them. I'm noticing a pattern here. Okay, now I'm curious. Do you pass right through everything? Oh! Okay, so the game doesn't have any collision detection. You just straight up pass right through everything solid in the game world. The poles, the trucks, the houses. You just pass right through all of them. This can't have been on purpose, can it? Did the developer just think you could just throw models onto the map and the game will automatically know to bounce off them? Again, all things that would have been noticed if someone on the dev team played for five seconds before saying, yep, this is ready to hit store shelves. Oh crap, I went totally off the road. HOLY SHIT! 
You climb straight up walls and it doesn't even slow you down! The spider car returns! The game can't distinguish between flat ground and any kind of incline or terrain because there's no physics engine of any kind in the game. This is so surreal. A humongous truck cruising over mountain ranges like it was nothing. Jesus Christ, is anything in this game actually finished? Now, ostensibly, the objective of the game is to drive through all the checkpoints and head for the goal. There's no compass or map of any kind letting you know where the checkpoints or the end goal are. Luckily, you have all the time in the world to get to the end given that the other driver doesn't move. This is seriously the most boring driving game that you could possibly imagine. The lack of collision detection means that no matter how shitty a driver you are, nothing slows you down. The course is functionally devoid of any and all obstacles. It's just driving while nothing happens. Oh hey, my old buddy is still hanging around the starting line. Wow. And the race cuts off to a static image of a trophy and a typo. I love how the trophy is a static 2D image that was clearly supposed to be a 3D model. Two words! The dev couldn't manage to type two words without finding a way to fail in glorious fashion! Though at least you can laugh at this, there's something delightfully corny about your winner! So to recap, in our first race, we climbed inside our opponent, raced against a stationary object, found that every structure in the level exists in a non-corporeal state of matter and can be phased right through, shattered every known law of physics, and were declared winner. Not THE winner, just winner. How? What? <laughs> I have so many questions! Check it out, the high score table doesn't work either, it's still completely blank. Let's try out Forgotten Road 1. Not like there's anything else to do but try another race. Holy shit! The truck just fell right through the floor! And the camera's still up here! Oh, there it's back. So rather than cross the bridge, you fall through the bridge, drive along the ravine floor, and then reappear on the other side of the bridge because the game doesn't consider the bridge to be floor. There's something awesomely hilarious about that. I'm guessing there was supposed to be water down here. Instead, we've got flickering graphics because stationary dirt ground was too complicated to program. You know, I just realized, this game has a readout for the number of laps in the corner when all the races are just one lap and there's no option anywhere in the game to bump that up. So why is it there? Oh, screw it, I'm bored. I'm just going to roam the level. I'm gonna scale the mountains. Truck goes up, truck goes down. Truck goes up, truck goes into the Phantom Zone! Holy shit! I... I just... WHAT THE HELL IS MY TRUCK SOMERSAULTING THROUGH THE AIR FLOOR?! <laughs> I don't- I don't even know what's going on anymore. There's no invisible wall or barrier of any kind preventing you from just driving off the face of the earth. What the hell is this?! Wonder if I can go back. Just imagine what kind of whacked out shit the driver of this truck is experiencing right now. And I'm fine. I'm back. I have returned to the plane of reality. And sometimes the game phases right through the canyon walls. The game doesn't even follow its own made up rules. Another weird thing is that if you drive forward, you accelerate like a normal car. Pretty much the only normal thing about this whole scenario. But if you try and drive in reverse, the car just zooms off and it never stops accelerating. Seriously, if you keep holding the reverse button, your car will never stop accelerating. It only takes a few seconds before you're going so fast you cross the level in seconds and you turn so quickly it becomes impossible to steer. It's one of the most whacked out things that I've ever seen. It actually turns out that there is a limit to how fast the truck can go. A very Ford YouTuber figured out that once the car hits 12.3 undecillion miles per hour, the game breaks and just declares you the winner automatically. And if the video is valid, it takes about 80 minutes of solid accelerating to reach that speed. And if you don't know how high that number is, try and picture this. Take the speed of light. Multiply it by 18,000. Multiply that by 1 trillion. And then multiply that by another 1 trillion. THAT'S HOW FAST THIS FREAKING TRUCK CAN MOVE! The game can't figure out how to have the taillights stick to the back of the truck, but it can handle traveling fast enough to shatter all of reality! Oh, but if you release the reverse button for a split second, you stop dead in your tracks. There's no deceleration at all, I didn't edit that, you just stop instantaneously. I'm really starting to lose it here. What- what the hell DOES work? It can't be a very long list, backing up doesn't work. 
hitting obstacles doesn't work, staying inside the level doesn't work, the game world doesn't render correctly. Let's see, you can drive forward. The game turns on, I thought that was a very nice touch. Um, oh, the checkpoint's actually working, you can finish the race. And uh, I, I think that might be it. Playing Big Rigs kind of revolves around a giant paradox. If you actually play the game like it's intended, the game is ridiculously boring. It's just driving across a map with no real obstacles. The turning controls suck because who the hell makes a racing game with large rigs? You can't lose and the levels have nothing interesting in them. Hell, the fifth level is just one narrow circular track. There's nothing to explore at all. It's like the most boiled down, bare bones driving game that you could possibly make. There's no reward for actually completing a race. There's no reason on Earth to actually finish a race unless you desperately need to be told how much winner you are. You load up a level, there's no reason not to just wander off and dick around. Drinking in the surreal visuals of a truck that breaks the laws of physics like crackers is the only thing to actually do in the entire game. Well, that and see how much you can bug up the game in a single run. Oh! It's like a time machine! You are twisting the very fabric of reality! You spin me right round, baby, right round! Uh, where'd the truck go? It, it just disappeared. I can't turn anymore, either. It finally happened. The car went so fast it broke down on a molecular level and just disintegrated. Is it coming back? Uh, nope, it's gone. It's dead, Jim. But even with how amusing the glitches can be, even this wears off pretty quickly. Yeah, scaling cliffs without breaking your stride is good for a laugh at the sheer absurdity, but once you've done it four or five times, it gets old. Ditto for exiting the game world and phasing through houses. It's a good joke, but you can only listen to it so many times. There's just nothing to do in the game except find and laugh at the glitches, and even that doesn't get you much mileage. There's no more content in the game, there's no unlockables. These four trucks, four levels, and one game mode are all there is to the entire game. And yes, I can count, I meant four levels. Selecting the fourth level, Night Ride, which actually has a pretty bitchin' preview image set in the city, it instantly crashes the game when you try it. Nobody has ever gotten it to run. They managed to push the shit programming to terminal levels and make a level that doesn't even load! I wondered if it was possible to use the random race option to kind of trick the game into loading the missing level, and you're not gonna believe this! The random race option is even more glitchy than the rest of the game. I know, I couldn't believe that it was physically possible either. For starters, the random race option always loads up the first level, which makes me wonder if it's on purpose, i.e. the dev knew that level 4 didn't work, or if it's yet another programming error. But here's where things get face palmy. When you select random race, the game will try to randomize the number of laps that the race lasts, and if it does that, the game, well breaks. The game cannot register you driving through a checkpoint more than once, so if the game tries to increase the number of laps, the race becomes unwinnable because it's physically impossible to mark more than a single lap as complete. So yes, it is in fact possible to not be winner. Down to two things left that work! The checkpoint list off to the side will have a ton of extra dots to correspond to multiple laps as your clue that the glitch has occurred. Hell, sometimes the checkpoint counter disappears entirely. I can't even hazard a guess for that. But that's not even the worst of it. Not only does random race often render a race impossible, but after I had tried the random race option a few times, this happened. Whether I'm going forward or in reverse, my truck sputters in movement. It moves half a second, then pauses over and over. And this happened every single time that I booted up the game. This glitch would not go away. The one thing, the one freaking gameplay mechanic that actually worked, being able to move! Even that doesn't reliably work! Hell, the game managed to break itself so badly doing this that uninstalling and reinstalling the game still didn't fix the bug. It kept doing this until eventually I rebooted my entire computer and uninstalled, and that fixed it. And to give it the true scientific method, I tried Random Race a few more times and got the glitch to trigger again. This game is disintegrating before my very eyes. We are in uncharted territory of suckage. There's a game mode that PERMA glitches the game. Why is there a random race option anyway? It takes like 10 seconds to select a truck in a level. And that's about it, actually. The game is super small and there's not much to talk about. All that's left is the patch, which contrary to what I expected, is not 10 times the size of the game itself. Trouble is, 
The patched version won't even launch on my computer! <laughs> yeah, the patched version won't run on my computer, but the patch, so far as I know, doesn't fix jack shit anyway. It replaces the broken level with the mirror of one of the other stages. Couldn't even be bothered to finish the broken level. It makes the AI move and then stop before the finish line because the game has no winning scenario in its code and the game would just crash if you were loser, and the trophy's typo has been fixed. Congratulations, you fixed the three smallest problems in the game and didn't do dick to actually improve the experience. Going into this game, I wasn't sure how much any of this would phase me. None of this is new to me at this point. Just look at the indie games on Steam. Passing through everything that's solid, check. Game cannot be lost, check. No AI. Don't even have to look for Steam for that! Big Rigs' sheer jaw-dropping incompetence isn't entirely unique anymore, but its magnitude sets it apart. Big Rigs was like the Superman of bad indie games. It was the first, the best, the legend, and its majesty will never be matched. If by majesty you mean the biggest steaming heap of shit that's ever been dumped onto a hard drive in the history of the world, there is a truck. There is solid ground to drive upon. You can complete a race, and that's it. Is this one of the worst games ever made? Of course! There isn't a single thing in the entire game that works consistently at all! The game isn't frustrating to play, and it's not all that offensive, until you remember this retailed in stores for 50 bucks. 50 bucks for this! And this! And this! So here's my question. How in the actual living mother humping hell does the game this blatantly unfinished and downright defective end up on store shelves? Well, I may have found an answer. According to Wikipedia, the game's lead, Sergei Titov, had said in an interview that he had very little say in getting the game released, implying that the game's publisher just took the game and pushed it out whether it was finished or not. He also alleges the publisher they were working for gave them basically zero budget, to the point they had to sell a good chunk of their company just to get a game engine. How much of this story is true depends on how much you trust Wikipedia and how much you can believe Mr. Titov. Sergei pretty much demolished all credibility he had a few years ago when he released The War Z, a game that was was buggy as crap, sold on blatantly false advertising, its game world was less than a tenth the promise sized, used a hair trigger anti-cheating system that constantly banned legit players, kinda like YouTube's copyright system, censored all criticism and banned critics, stole its terms of use directly from League of Legends to the point the title of the game didn't even change, stole in-game art and promotional images, had to change its title after blatantly ripping off DayZ, and lied its ass off when called out on all this by Kotaku's game journalists. But if his story is true, it'd go a long way in explaining why the game isn't so much unfinished as it is barely frickin' started! The game is so terrible, I can't even recap all of its flaws. Unless, maybe I do it in song. Spider truck, spider truck, is there music? Try your luck. Scaling walls without fear, physics aren't Wanted here, oh dear, here comes the spider truck. Drive straight up any wall, enemies don't move at all. Leave the whole world behind, pays no matter of any kind. My mind lost to the spider truck. No land in sight, this game is a crime. Drive the speed of light and then stop on a dime. Spider truck. Spider truck, this game is an unfinished pile of fuck. Dick to do, I'm so bored. Typos are my reward. Oh lord, there goes the spider truck. Nothing stops spider truck. Go to hell, spider truck!